Hey, what's going on guys? Josh from Trailbill and we have just got in another 2007 Toyota Tacoma that we're going to be putting a three inch lift into. So for all of you Tacoma guys that are looking to lift your Tacoma, not looking to break the bank, we have this rough country three inch lift. So then what comes with this kit is going to be your front coilovers. This one's going to have the N3 rough country shocks that go up front. And then it's going to have for the rear, it's going to have the lift blocks and then it's going to have the V2 Rough Country monotube shocks. Now this kit is good to run up to a 33 inch tire from 2005 up to about 2018 Toyota Tacomas. And our customer here uh, is going to go with the Middle Ridge Grapplers that are going to be a 33 by 1250 on 17 inch Conse wheels. So it's going to be a pretty basic pretty simple install the install is scheduled for about four hours and all together this kit here the rough country runs about 650 dollars on our website trailbuiltoffroad.com and then the tire and wheel package is going to be just over $2,100. So not including the install, you're looking at about $2,800 for a three inch lift, which is a pretty awesome deal. So make sure and stay tuned as we get this lift installed in our 2007 Tacoma. Let's go. Now that Brent has installed the front shocks, the rear shocks, the puck spacers for the differential, we're going to give you guys just a little bit of a rundown on how that all goes in here. So for the front shocks, it's pretty simple. Obviously, get your truck up on a lift, then the old struts come out. Not too much to it. Pop the new struts in, bolt everything in. Then these little puck spacers underneath here are to drop the differential down just a little bit to help with that pinion angle and driveline angle to keep the front drive shaft from binding. So you get a couple of little half inch spacer pucks there for the front differential. And then moving on to the back, we have there's these two inch leaf spring spacers that help give it that little extra boost. You get the hardware with this kit as well, including the U-bolts for the leaf springs and also these Rough Country V2 shocks like we showed you before. So whole installs, all pretty simple, takes about four hours or so, and you can do it with some basic garage tools. And it also comes with some really good detailed instructions with the illustrations on them as well. So from here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on the tires, then we're gonna go take this thing out for a spin and show you guys what the wheels and tires are and what difference it makes having this three inch lift in there. So stay tuned. All right, so now that we have the three inch Rough Country lift installed on this 05 Tacoma, we're taking it for a spin. It has the 33 inch Niddle Ridge Grapplers by 12 and a half wide, 17 inch Conse wheels, which I'm kind of surprised that Alexi went with the Conse because you don't really hear that name too much in the off-road um, industry. So you usually hear like Methods or Race Lines or Icon Alloys and a whole bunch of other ones, but not really Conse, but they do look pretty good. They look pretty sharp on the rig. But as far as drivability, if you guys are looking for hitting those trails on the weekend, you want some extra ground clearance, but still a pretty decent ride, and we're on a pretty bumpy road right now, the Rough Country three inch lift is gonna get you what you need. It has a three inch coils up front, like we talked about before, has a two inch lift in the back, and the front coils are basically like struts. They're coilovers or struts where they have this uh, shock inside the spring. So you don't have to run any additional spacers with these rough country front struts. Whereas if you were just replacing, let's say the shock in the front or maybe just the spring in the front to get that extra lift, you may need to run spacers, whereas these you do not. So I think so far for running 33 inch tires, with this rough country kit the ride isn't too bad i mean you're going to get a little bit more of a firm ride typically with a lift because you're adding additional off-road performance to the vehicle and this road is crappy and it handles it pretty decent all right so now that we got it up to highway speeds and not even exactly sure how fast we're going because anytime you change the tire diameter it is going to throw off the speedometer just a little bit but it's handling pretty nice with this new Rough Country kit in here, it's absorbing the bumps pretty decently. I'm not getting a lot of feedback in the steering wheel, even with the 33s. With that said, I did notice when we pulled out of the parking lot before that there was a little bit of rub on full turn. So full lock to lock, you're gonna have a little bit of rub with these 33s on here, so there may be some trimming. And like I said earlier in the video, the three inch Rough Country kit is good up to 
I think it was 31 or 32 inches and and Alexi's she has 33 inch tires on here it definitely looks bold it looks muscular it fits this Tacoma really nice proportionally so if you guys are again looking for that right bang for the buck kit that's not going to break the bank and still pretty easy to install and give you enough ground clearance to hit the trails on the weekend the rough country kit is a really good way to go again you can find them right on our website it's drillbuiltoffroad.com other than that we're going to head back to the office and we're going to see where we need to trim should only be a real little bit to trim to fit these 33s but other than that we appreciate all of you for watching guys don't forget to hit that little subscribe button hit the little bell next to it that way you guys get the notifications and thumbs up to like the video as always guys we appreciate all of you for watching i'm josh from trail built and we'll see you guys back again shortly